I don't think this video is going to have much of a point, really. Today, you join me in a field at 8.17 in the morning, wearing a jumper that's really far too festive for the time of year. In my last video, I talked about how I'd acquired a new camera and how that had allowed me to begin to make films. And I uploaded this video and I wondered whether I was justified in calling myself a filmmaker. From the age of about eight, nine, I've been creating hilarious, candid, homemade movies, the most significant of which was named Spider Kid and was themed around Spider Man, uh, but a child version, essentially. And that involved stealing my dad's point and shoot camera, setting it up on a shelf, and improvising uh, in an American accent uh, a scene in front of it, and then cutting it in Windows Movie Maker, and just leaving it on my computer and having a watch every once in a while. And I started getting into YouTube videos, and over the sort of two or three years, filmed about 120 videos on my other channel on my old channel. And all of these were made with with greater things in mind. So essentially what that means is that I'd make something and I'd be proud of it but I would know that it wasn't great and I'd make it thinking the next one's going to be much better. Um, I'd always uh, use the excuse that I didn't have the proper camera or the proper microphone or the tr proper tripod or I, I didn't have the correct equipment or I didn't have the right lights or it was the wrong time of year, or I didn't have any actors, and I've always had an excuse up until now. And now I actually have all the necessary things needed to make a film, yet there's not really any evidence of film-like work. I think that maybe underlying this is the fact that I've always just been too scared to try properly hard with something like this because I'm worried that if I try my hardest and it's still not good that I will have failed and then the last 10 years of my life being a alleged filmmaker will have all gone to waste. I don't, I don't want to be wasting, wasting my time. time but I feel that this is this is what makes me happiest. I just you know listening to film music and seeing interesting shots and watching other people's work really gets me fired up and really excited to make my own. I think it's this kind of mentality that up until now has prevented me from making anything serious and I want to change that. I think that at the age that I am it's stupid to be worrying about if I'm wasting my time and coming up to going to university everyone's looking at what they think would be best for them in the future, and I, to be honest, just don't care, I suppose. I don't want to necessarily do what's best for me, I want to do what I want to do now. I know it's probably ignorant to completely ignore the future, and that's not what I'm saying I want to do at all, but it's just quite a scary prospect, I suppose. I mean, you can probably hear in the background the uh, subtle groan of a building site, and while it may look like I'm sat in, you know, abodes of the country, in fact, if I turn this camera around, you can see that the field adjacent to this one is being converted into houses to extend a council estate. The future sucks. I think this is quite a pessimistic look on things. I don't know. When I turned 18, I felt completely and utterly destroyed about the fact that I was no longer a child and therefore I had to actually grow up and actually do adult things but it hasn't necessarily changed me at all apart from a sort of voluntary maturity that's come forward. I think the way to look at it is to not be scared of the future but to look at it 
with potential, which is one of the things that I think that I really am best at, that a lot of the time I'll have ideas and see the potential, and that excites me more than actually doing the thing. And now there's a beeping truck. I don't think this video is going to have much of a point, really.